Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and ski conditions as we head into the weekend. First off, live camera, Grand Targhee, where you are seeing snow. You're in the middle of the first wave. There's a second wave that will come in, and some of the snow may kind of die off before that second one comes in. But the second one will come in on Saturday, and that's going to be the case across the West, kind of a two-wave type of event. So let's, and that would be the case for Jackson Hole, the Wasatch, and in Colorado as well. So let's look at the radar and the uh, the satellite analysis. Let me point out what we're looking at. And I talk about two different waves. So the first wave kind of sliding through like that. And then there's a second wave behind that moving into the Pacific Northwest. And again, there may be a brief break or the snow levels may drop off a little bit in between these, but both of them will fire their way through the Intermountain West, through Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado as we head into the weekend. And I think in some cases, so Sunday might actually end up being a better powder day in a lot of these locations. I'll show you that thinking here in a second. I need to talk about the jet stream just briefly. The main low pressure is hanging back here. You can see the dip in the jet stream. And so it's almost like the jet has carried uh, the precip ahead of the low into a first wave and then the second wave will be kind of hanging back with the main low. As we head into the weekend, so Saturday is the day when the main low will begin to move in. So this is Saturday at 5.15 p.m. The main low is moving in. Uh, you can see the dip in the jet stream. And as you know, looking at Colorado, there's definitely going to be a break between this first wave, which is very light and windy in the state, and you'll get a dry break followed by the main low coming in during the day on Saturday, which in Colorado might make Sunday the better powder day after all the accumulation takes place. Look, look at that pattern change early next week. Big ridge, the jet kind of moves north Monday, Tuesday of next week, but look at Wednesday. So this is Wednesday on the clock, whole new pattern with a low dropping down out of Canada and into the west. So that is a peak at what could occur by Wednesday of next week. All right, let's look at the future radar as I roll this into the future. Here's Saturday morning. Notice the first wave kind of disappears. The second wave right here is what takes over. This is the one that brings in the second batch of snow to the Tetons, the Wasatch. And notice in Colorado, we're just kind of waiting on it in the morning. It may not arrive until late morning, midday, and afternoon and night, making Sunday the better powder day. And yeah, there is some snow falling down in the Sierra. And yes, snow falling back into the Pacific Northwest as well. So between Saturday and Saturday night, you can see what happens. That second wave moves into Colorado, southern Utah, and that does bring snow into the state of Colorado. And there's still some snow falling back behind it as well into parts of the Tetons and Montana and Idaho as well. All right, so going Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday morning, the snow continues in Colorado, but it will be ending as the day wears on in Colorado. And it's really light and kind of tapering off to the backside into parts of uh, Utah and Wyoming. Notice the Pacific Northwest, that jet is beginning to reposition itself up to uh, really favor a lot of that Pacific Northwest, even up to Banff and Whistler. It'll favor that area for a couple of days. So the future radar into Monday morning, again, really just light residual stuff here across the Intermountain, totally dry in California. It, real action's all up here. Banff into the interior and the coastal range up there into the Pacific Northwest as that jet reorganizes and it uh, gets ready for our next its next big dip and big trip into the, uh, the continental U.S. So snowfall. Okay, so if you're thinking about skiing on Saturday morning, what will the accumulations be like between today and Saturday morning? Not a lot of snow, but you can see it probably about five inches through Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, down into Alta Snowbird, Solitude, and Brighton, probably about five inches into Saturday morning. And in Colorado, very light stuff. I mean, we're waking up to probably one, two inches, maybe three inches in steamboat by Saturday morning. And again, that's what's interesting. It could be Sunday. That's the bigger powder day. Watch things add up during the day here on Saturday into Sunday morning as that second wave comes into a lot of these areas. There you go. Working on a foot there by uh, Sunday morning, Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, and the Wasatch adds a fair amount into Sunday morning. Uh, you're working on over two feet there in Alta and Snowbird, about eight about city by Sunday morning. And notice all the numbers in Colorado have come up as well. By Sunday morning, we're working on about five there in Loveland Vale and A Basin, Breck, all the way over to Snowmass and um, Aspen and Silverton as well. Looks good by Sunday morning. Now between Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Monday morning, we add a little bit in these areas, but it's really the Pacific Northwest 
that we'll be adding a fair amount in that time period. Let's look at those numbers between Sunday and Monday. And we added a little bit there in Jackson Hole and up into parts of the Wasatch and even into Colorado, we've added another inch. But it's look at the numbers in the Pacific Northwest in the Monday morning. And even up in the Revelstoke and Marmot Basin, the, those that, that would be the area to watch if you're going to be skiing late Sunday into Monday morning. Uh, some of those totals go up the most. All right, so enjoy that. Uh, there's definitely some places to hit this weekend for powder. And as always, thank you for tuning in here.